quick update on the round cap workaround video. Um, I got uh, a lot of tips that the screw modifier is also really helpful for this kind of situation. So let me show this and how to set it up. For this, we need the plane and we remove three edges of this and we need a curve object. So we take a bezier and scale it up. And then the trick is to use the screw modifier and select the X axis for the rotation axis this one so now we're copying over the whole thing and spinning it around the center uh, next up is uh, this spun edge along the curve so we select the curve modifier select the curve object and now the cylinder will track along the curve and from here we can go crazy and have the curve track around the cylinder um, the flexibility we get is from generating this tube so uh, we can also modify this tube one way to do so is extending it like this and then bevel these these vertices and now we can already see we're getting some round caps this version is interesting but also maybe a bit boring so let's see how we can get more out of this so we keep the modifiers but we take a look at our mesh creating these uh, shapes I can extend the cylinder with the array modifier. So with the array modifier, I can just put this first and have it follow the curve. And now it will always stretch along the curve length. Um, can also now scale this down and it should still follow the curve nicely. This also allows me to add caps so now I can um, specify a start and end cap for this. So specifying start and end cap, I can just copy my object, remove all the modifiers and build my cap. So this would look something like this for me. And then I can go in here and do this also with a modifier and say bevel. And I will bevel the vertices uh, by 100%. And we'll do lots of segments like eight. And now I have this the cap. I can select this here. I name my files. So this is the sweep. This is the start. And then we later need an end. So we select the start cap. Then we need an end cap. And for this, we just copy this, scale it, select the end cap. If you have some issues with the position, always take a look where these things are in edit mode because that's really important for this, but it's not important where they are in object mode. If you get some normal issues, this can be coming from merging and this can be from calculating the order of the faces in the screw modifier. If you want to go scale up the radius, we can go into here, scale up the radius, but get stretching. Um, so if we want to do the actual radius radius, we need to select everything and then check check that we scale here now i get a bigger radius because what i'm doing currently is uh, scaling the start uh, and end and our middle part from from their respective center really tiny curve or just a really fat curve go in here and add a subdivision surface and then this is also reusable so if you have this set up once add a new curve then i can just copy this whole thing uh, select the right curve object for both times we reference the curve and then make sure that both are set to the same location. I can show you here with the origins displayed. So if the origins are not aligning, these small orange dots, you can see here uh, it will have these errors, but if the origins align, it will work as expected. As the sweep is not limited to uh, one edge, the sweep can be also a complex shape. I can easily have a complex shape following along a curve. There's not much difference in here. Um, I also weld um, the parts in the end to make sure that the caps are really close, which is not always necessary. And here I'm animating through shape key. And what this does is I can see here, this is my shape key and this is my basis. So it's just moving parts around and scaling them. So yes, thank you for watching. And I hope we can make some interesting round curve renderings with Blender now.